So this is fun. This is unusual. Um, we don't normally do a second Sunday stream, especially one this early in the day. But today is a very special day. And you can see I've got all the green lights behind me. And I'm wearing a Microsoft shirt because, sure, why not? But I also, I got the fancy foam finger because, you know, uh, it's Xbox E3 time, y'all. And we're going to talk about Xbox E3 stuff. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really curious to see what kind of new Game Pass stuff comes out today. I'm also curious about any new hardware stuff that they might be working on. I've seen some of the stuff that has been leaked or rumored or whatever. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. However, uh, I am super excited because today we have a very special guest with us. Um, I also, as usual, I have the crew. I've got Lollipop and Elena with me, but we have special guest Aww. Christina Warren. She is a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft. Um, now, disclaimer, she works in a completely different department than Xbox. Has no idea what's going on today. She is just here because she is a fan like us. Uh, but Christina has several years of experience reporting on the tech and gaming industries for the likes of Gizmodo and Mashable. So she's really got a pulse on this kind of stuff. And she enjoys keeping up with it as a hobby anyway. Um, so I'm really, really excited to have her here. So thank you so much for being here, Christina. Welcome. Thank you. And thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to watch like everybody else. I've been keeping track of all the other E3 announcements, but this is the first really you know, big one. And so I'm excited here to watch and, and talk with everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited too. I think we're going to have a really, really fun day ahead of us, um, especially now that Bethesda is under the Xbox umbrella and there's going to be, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot that they have to cover with the, what, like dozen plus game studios that they own now it's ridiculous yeah no it's, it's, like, it's like easier to like think of all the studios like that xbox doesn't own at this point right like I know. there are so many but, but but bethesda is obviously a big one and there's, there's so many you know studios under them and franchises and it's, it's i'm excited to see what this looks like since this is the first event that they've had you know since that um acquisition went through yep yeah so there's there's gonna be a lot to talk about i think um so let's let's kind of get into it a little bit. So um, d is, Xbox has been doing these E3 shows for a really long time now. I mean, from, you know, we've come a long way from the era of Bill Gates on stage with an Xbox, <laughs> um, which let's be real. It was it was very like late 90s, early 2000s, and it was very just weird. OK, because it's it's Bill Gates and a gaming console and those two things don't really mix. Um, and now we've, we're, we're in an era now where, you know, Satya Nadal has been there for, he's been running the show for several years now. Uh, when he took over as the third CEO of Microsoft, you know, a lot of people, including folks on the board said that Microsoft needed to divest from gaming, get out of it. It's not profitable. And clearly that's not the case. Um, Microsoft is all in on gaming. Um, Satya said so as recently as, you know, a, a couple of weeks ago at the Build Conference that Microsoft is still all in on gaming. They've got new toolkits and, and, and SDKs for uh, developers to build their games for the Xbox and Windows ecosystems. So gaming is a cornerstone of what Microsoft does now, which again, you know, 15, 20 years ago, no one thought that would be the case. Um, so I'm I'm excited because there's going to be a lot to talk about and see today, um, but I kind of wanted to start with some of like the the memories of E3 past, and the one that comes to mind first is from a few years ago um, when I think it was Halo Three was revealed, and the video is it was I, I, I'm I'm tempted to find it. But there's this video, this like reveal of Halo Three, and you see just like this, this slow zoom through a desert area, and you can hear Cortana's voice kind of like, like garbled a little in the background as she talks about just this, like you can tell Cortana's starting to go, like she's starting to become rampant, um, you know, think, saying things like "I have defied gods and demons," and like. It just gives me the chills, and then you see like the sand cloud clears, and here comes Master Chief, and then you see all of these Covenant warships fly in, and it's just like oh, like I'm getting goosebumps now thinking about it. Um, but 
you know, that was the infamous finish the fight when Halo 3 was revealed. And, you know, by that point, we had had the original Halo. It was a hit on both the original Xbox and the PC. Uh, Halo 2 came out and they changed up the formula with it a little bit, you know, as you're working side by side with the Arbiter. And now here comes Halo 3. And um, I kind of think of it sort of like the Back to the Future trilogy, because for me, Back to the Future 3 just really did. It was it was a big deal and it it i i love back to the future 3 i think it was you know the best of the series um and halo 3 truly was at that time like the best of that series um but just having that like that that awe inspiring reveal was so cool like i loved it so much um i like Christina, you've been doing this for a really long time. Um, you know, yeah. you've been keeping up with this stuff for years. You've done live coverage My whole life. of of E three before. So, like, what's I've been at E three a number of times. Yeah. So tell me, like, like what's some of the stuff that really stood out to you in years past that, like, really just kind of gave you those 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 goosebumps moments? Well, Halo three is one of those. I was in college when that came out. Uh, during during that announcement, that was I think like E three like two thousand six, two thousand seven. Uh, 2006, I think. Yeah. Um, that's definitely like a really big one because that that conference, uh, or that demo rather, like you know that video was was just like massive. Um, that was a really good year. I think the whole Xbox 360 kind of era was like a really great E3 era. Uh, you know that era, uh, the the Wii, um, you know the, the the PS3, like that was a really good E3 era. So there was a lot of stuff there. Um, even though it was a disaster uh, in retrospect, the Xbox one announcement that was like so anticipated. And I remember like, cause I was there and we were also, I was moderating live chats. I was working at Matchable at the time and we were like, I was there, I was live blogging. And then we had people back in New York who were, you know, uh, moderating, you know, like user comments and other stuff. And we were, uh, you know, uh, hosting our own stream. And, and that one just stands out to me just because of all the logistics that had to be involved. But even though that didn't, you know, work out in retrospect, I feel like if they doubled down and held on to some of the things they'd originally wanted to do with Xbox One, I think it would have actually been successful, yeah. right? Like, I think that people got freaked out by the always on gaming thing. But in retrospect, it's like that is something that everybody kind of does. And some of the game sharing stuff, I, I still wish that that had been an option because I think that would still be something like frustrates me to this day that if I have a physical copy of the game, I have to have it in the machine, you know, to play it. And, and that's just, you know, beyond frustrating. But, but that event, um, you know, that was one of those moments where, because Xbox 360 was so big, that Xbox One, like the hype behind that was real and the audience excitement was real and you felt it by everybody there at E3. And uh, that one is, is probably one of the most recent ones that really kind of stands out in my mind, even though that was, you know, seven, eight years ago, uh, nine years ago, I can't, you know, time is, is a vortex. But that was that was a, a big one. Um, yeah, that that's that's one of the ones that really stands out that I can kind of think of. But there have been so many moments. I mean, even going all the way back, like I remember when the first when the Xbox was first announced and I was in high school, but it seemed crazy. It was like, what do you mean Microsoft's going to have a video game console? Like, it was a joke. Yeah. And that's why it's so funny to think that now we're at 20 years of Xbox and it's like, it's not a joke. You know, I mean, people said the same thing about Sony, but things were a little bit different then. You know, by the time Xbox came out, Dreamcast, which was amazing, had failed. You know, uh, PlayStation had dominated. Um, Nintendo was going through a weird period. And so it, it didn't seem conceivable that we would have like this, this third player uh, or fourth player really at the time. Um, I also remember, I don't remember what E3 it was, but I remember Xbox Live. That to yeah. me is one of those standout moments because that changed everything if we think about it. Like there had been attempts at doing online gaming before Dreamcast had some stuff. There had been some, you know, uh, adapters and things you could get for other consoles. There was the Sega channel, but Xbox Sega Live channel. was like the thing. And, and Xbox Live, especially with Halo, like that was just kind of like that perfect, Storm. And like when, when Halo 2 came out, you know, in the Xbox Live and, and that stuff, like that was just one of those moments that to me, when I think about like the, the last 20 years or so of gaming, like that's one of those standout moments where I'm like, yeah, that changed how we do everything. 
Yeah, I remember people thought Microsoft was crazy because they built an Ethernet port into the console. They're like, what do we yep. need this for? Like, why are, why are we doing this? Like, people, like, a lot of people still didn't have broadband internet at that time. And nope. online gaming was was not a thing. Because, like you said, there were so many people that had tried it in, like, little doses here and there. And it's funny you mentioned Sega Channel because I remember Sega Channel and just, like... It was so cool, but it was such a niche thing that no one, no right. one got into it. No one really like, experienced like, like, it. Like, like you had that friend that always claimed they had it, right? Like everybody knew someone who had it, but like no one actually had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Um, but yeah, Microsoft builds an Ethernet port into a console at a time when you know a lot of people don't have broadband at home, and you know it's like, well, they're they're one, they're releasing a gaming console. Two, they're they're gearing it up to be network connected like what are they doing what's wrong with them and here it is now you know 20 years later and it's a multi-billion dollar business for them like it's ridiculous mm -hmm. um and you had mentioned something before the show about how you know we've got so many of these studios now that microsoft owns like it's it's almost less time to name the studios that they don't own versus the ones that they do right Totally. No, it, 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 it's true. And, and, you know, when you think about Game Pass, which is a direct, you know, kind of descendant from Xbox Live, right, which a lot of people were hesitant about and didn't know if that was going to work. And, and it's been successful, not just for gamers, but developers really like it, too. Uh, yep. But it's funny to think about how, like, this was all kind of, you know, precipitated, as you said, and 20 years ago, putting an Ethernet port on the back of a console. I know. It was... That's it's just it's wild to think about to me that you know that we've how far this has come just from this one offshoot idea. It's like, hey, let's jump into this fray where these these three big names have been into it and have owned it for so long now. Let's try it and see what happens. Let's throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. And boy, did it ever! Oh my god! And now yeah. I mean, you know, we've got whole cults built around it. I've got a foam finger for God's sake! Like it's 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 just totally. wild. Um. You know, going back and talking about the the Xbox One, um, you mentioned that there were some things that you know they had announced with it that they kind of backtracked on, especially around some of the online features and game sharing and how you manage your your digital library and stuff. And that stuff, I I I'm with you. I wish they had kept that around, but I'm kind of reminded, and it's a really sore spot for me of some of the other consumer features that were part of the Xbox at that time that they really, you know, backtracked on even mm -hmm. further later because they build the Xbox one as this all in one entertainment machine. And yep. it wasn't just supposed to be a gaming console. It was your all in one media consumption device. And I think that Microsoft actually had a really good play there. And unfortunately, because they were so dependent on other departments within the organization which again like we talked about at the beginning microsoft's they're a huge company there's what 160,000 people that work for microsoft you know and so it's a it's basically like you said there's a bunch Something of like, like that, smaller yeah. companies that are all just grouped under this one umbrella um and so seeing things like you know they they could have i think they could have focused a lot on consumer music like i honestly think they had a really good thing with zune and groove and they could have continued that investment but they didn't um, their, their video library is great. And I'm, I'm glad that they actually went on board with the movies anywhere system that Disney put out. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And it's nice that that's there and, and, and it works great. But it, again, a lot of that stuff now feels like an afterthought because Microsoft has been notorious for just killing their consumer stuff off without giving it the chance or really the resources to, to proceed and, and succeed. Um, uh, right long live the zune robo like i'm for real also hi vifa love your face um so i'm you know like i'm 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 really disappointed that a lot of those those media features got got taken out um or really just put on the back burner because yeah the xbox is a gaming console but that's not what that's not everything that people do with their tvs um, and you see, they've they've come, they've they've released consoles that are all digital, like the One S and the Series S. You know, things that are like these smaller form factors that aren't designed to be these all powerful gaming machines. Um, they still do gaming phenomenally well, but they also can be used for things like I want to, I want to get a Series S to throw in the spare bedroom just for when we have guests. They can watch whatever they want to on it because it's. 
you know, sure, if they want to play an Xbox game, go nuts. Why not? But also, you know, folks want to sit and lay in bed and watch movies on Netflix or whatever. Um, yeah. And it's perfect for that kind of thing. But, you know, I think that's one of those where a, a small group of voices rose up and Microsoft kind of gave in to it and just still a little disappointed about that. Yeah, it was weird, too, because the 360 had been such a huge media device. Like, the last couple of years of its existence, it had actually been sold more to people to use as a media device than even as gaming. Yeah. And it, because it was it was cheap enough, like, it was competitive with, like, this was before the era of, like, $35, you know, like, Chromecast and stuff, and before every TV had built-in features. And so it was one of these things where you could spend 150 or $200 on an Xbox 360 and not just have this huge game library, but also have access to Netflix and Hulu and, and HBO and all these different, you know, streaming services. And so I got, and, and I was excited when they were like, we're going to go all in on the streaming stuff. We're going to go all in on making this, you know, you can connect it to your cable box and, and you can make this like the way that you, you know, the connect was a thing, you know, like we, we can make this like a, a thing to really take over your living room. I just think that I understand why they moved away from that. The audience clearly wasn't receptive. Yeah. The market did shift some, like I think, you know, the focusing on cable box and inter, um, interoperability in retrospect was probably a bad thing because that was really at the right, the wrong time, right? Like that's when cable's falling off and, and you, that, that was not uh, maybe the right move, but I'm with you in that. I loved all those integration features, but it is sort of interesting to go back to game pass that sort of has in some ways, I think kind of reinvigorated the living room aspect because yep. with X cloud, you know, that's one of the promises. Like they announced a couple of days ago, they confirmed that they're going to be working with TV makers and other people to support um, X cloud and, and game pass. And that means, you know, okay, you can now, you know, have the ability to, if you don't have a, a you know, the money for, for a console or, or you're in a place where you don't have your console with you, you can do that and open up gaming from anywhere, you know, think about democratizing stuff. That's, I think, really powerful. And it doesn't go back to that original, like, you know, one living room vision, right? But it does, I think, kind of get us closer there where it's like, okay, we're now, we're still going to be integrated into that ecosystem. But I'm with you. I think about the, what could have been with that a lot. I mean, it, it is what it is. And I, 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 I trust that they made the decisions they needed to make, but it is still hard to look back, you know, like eight years later and be like, man, we, we could have had some really cool stuff in our living room. What could have been? What could have been? Um, yeah, you know, I, and I think what they're doing with Game Pass and xCloud is phenomenal. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've tested out streaming game streaming services in the past, and there was one... God, I forget what it was, but it was a like the first big one that tried it out several years ago, um, before anybody else was really thinking about it. And um, I'm pretty on live. F- yes, yes, I played on live like before mm-hmm. they had hardware or anything. Yep. Um, and so on live was it was actually pretty decent. Um, it was, but it didn't scale really well. And then it got purchased, mm-hmm. and then it got killed, as so many things do. Um. And so I think OnLive kind of started that spark, and we've we've had you know other players come into the game now. Like even we've got Apple TVs. Apple TVs have gaming built into them now. Yep. They have controller support, um, and of course the App Store has you know the largest library of mobile games. It's it's Apple for God's sake, um, but. Now that Microsoft has started to jump into this, like they've proven out that cloud gaming, low latency, high quality cloud gaming can work. Um, they're doing it on mobile. They're doing it in the browser now. They're testing it out with Xbox Insiders to be able to play games from the browser, which I I tried it out and like it it just works. It works really well. Um, and it's it's kind of wild, like. You're That's you're playing, and you, you know, right especially right. with some of this other stuff, you have. <gasps> is that a Greg? I detect a Greg. Hello, Greg. Um, y- with so many of these these games, you know, you have to have that quick response time. But if anybody has the chops, the infrastructure, and the money to put behind something like a high quality, low latency game streaming platform. It's Microsoft. I mean, they even said it themselves when they first announced it. They're essentially taking Xbox Ones, putting them on Blade servers, and shoving them inside of servers and data centers. Like, you're playing on an Xbox in a data center out in the cloud somewhere in one of the Azure data centers. Like, it's just 
<laughs> ridiculous just the kind of power that's behind this but again microsoft if anybody can pull it off they can so I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff they announced today around that. Some of the new enhancements. Um, it's it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. What else has been... There was something else that I saw that was rumored. Um, I know we talked about the the that they confirmed they're working with smart TV providers. Um, there's, there's been rumors swirling and it's, it's been for a while now too, that Microsoft would build some kind of either like really small cloud streaming device, you know, for if someone has, if, if they don't have a smart TV that will support it, um, they could basically take a little thing on the go. So you have that big screen experience without having to have a, a full console lugging around with you, um, but there's also been talks for a long time about if Microsoft will build a mobile console. I don't think they will. And frankly, I think xCloud is proof of that. Like, why build hardware to do this when you already have all of the software in place for other hardware to do it? Um, right. And if anything, you know, Microsoft's got their, their – they've gone back into – um, the mobile arena with the Surface Duo, which I'm still going to get my hands on at some point because God knows I'm a I'm a, a shameless fucking shill. Um, but I mean, whatever, you know, same thing. Um, <laughs> but it, like they've already shown how they've 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 been using the power of software, which has been Microsoft's thing since always, is. Um, showing what they can do with the software to adapt to, you know, different mobile experiences. So even on a dual screen device like the Duo, where you have, you know, your controls on one screen and your game on the other, and then they've got specialized controls for a lot of the games that you're playing. So things like Minecraft Dungeons, instead of seeing the normal buttons, you can actually see their corresponding actions on the opposite screen so that you know when you press what would be Y, you're going to get this one power up. If you press, you know, the down D-pad, it's going to go to your inventory, like a lot of stuff like that. It's just like I love that they're doing specialized things like that and, and showing that, you know, software really is what rules it. It's like the hardware is great and the hardware is necessary but software is where it's at. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's about platform too, right? I think, I think that's kind of, but I'm not speaking for them. You know, I'm just, Yeah. Yep. So has been the only successful mobile game company, um, and uh, or company with, with with mobile consoles. And so I think that and people were worried about the Switch, and the Switch was kind of like their last ditch effort, right? Like people, a lot of people have been saying, well, Nintendo should just release iOS games. And that they should get out of hardware altogether. Yep. But thank God they didn't listen, and and they continued on because I think the Switch is is one of the the best, you know, consoles, uh, you know, probably of this this generation of the, of the decade, right? I think it's it's an amazing thing. So when I look at like how would a portable Xbox work? Do I think it could be great and fun? Of course, but I buy it. Yeah, the same way I buy every console, right? But if you can't add that kind of value and that kind of you know, thing, if you can't have that sort of magic, um, if that's not kind of in your DNA and if mobile stuff isn't in your DNA, and I, I don't necessarily know if it is an Xbox DNA, then I would much rather have the ability to focus on what you are really good at, which like you said, is the infrastructure and the cloud stuff, you know, like taking all the experience that we have in the data center and being like, okay, well, we can provide like a low latency, great experience 
so that you can use it on whatever device you, you want rather than being like, we are going to require that you buy this device so that you can play our games. I think it's actually much more exciting to think about, I have my phone or my tablet or I'm on a friend's TV or I'm at an Airbnb or a hotel someplace and, and I have a dongle and I can have my experiences that way or even I'm on a low-powered laptop, right? And I can I can do it from that rather than I have to have this specific device. I think that's actually a lot more exciting and something you could be a lot more successful with, even though, yeah, would a portable be great? Of course. Um, but, and I have no insight. I mean, look, they could blow my mind and announce an Xbox portable today and I'd be like, all right, I'm eating my words. But um, I, I don't feel like that's where the the value is. And I don't think that that's what the consumer necessarily wants. Like, yep. if you can't be better than a Switch, in my opinion, I no. don't know if you should bother. No, I, and I agree. All right, so the the stream's about to go live. They've we've got a little over forty five seconds left. Real quick, um, Elena, anything particular you want to see today? Xbox Design Lab. Okay, Lollipop. <laughs> what about you? Uh, more Doom Eternal shit. Honestly. All right, I love it, Christina. Uh, whatever Bethesda uh, is coming out with new Fallout. I don't know. New Fallout. Uh, I like it. I like yeah. it. Um. I would like to see something them do something ridiculous with Minecraft, like either a preview of the new stuff, um, past caves and cliffs, or maybe like another spinoff game, like Dungeons. Like, why not? Just I'd something be a game ridiculous. For another spinoff. I'm concerned until they get through caves and cliffs that perhaps they shouldn't preview. <laughs> All right, folks, like... here we go. Let's see what we got. Eighteen plus in every region. Nice. I want a boot screen with this. <laughs> totally. Hey, look, it's your finger. I know, right? <laughs> the finger here we go Twenty years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is oh. a moment I always look forward to. <laughs> they, I love seeing the game. They started with Todd. Outstanding. Return, hoping for a few surprises. He's Most announcing of all, the next though, Skyrim. I love seeing everyone <laughs> around the world come together and celebrate no. what games mean to all of us. And I think you know this. Elder Scrolls. Way now. They've meant even more. Elder Scrolls Six Thank is going to be the the new Half Life Three. Today. It's like, yeah, we'll make it. Support you give us someday. One another. <laughs> Xbox is turning 20, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't the for next the Elder Scrolls game's going to have Master Chief in it. <laughs> At Bethesda, we believe Friendship video games do Xbox one thing edition. better than anything else. They transport us through art and technology. There's real magic when you step into a new world and can make it your own. We've traveled the worlds of Elder Scrolls, of Fallout, and now, for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe. What? With Starfield. Ooh. Set hundreds of years in our future, it's an epic about hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing, and it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. We're excited to finally share our first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. All right. Okay. How long has this one been in development? I forget. A while. A while, yeah. yeah. Feel like a brand new year's universe 25 years in the making is an advertising point but that's not <laughs> you know what i was gonna say <laughs> i right? don't think that's something you should be proud of exactly it's like really 
Oh, okay. Oh, no, they low key didn't mention 76 in that at all. <laughs> Thank you. I was yeah. going to say, I was like, Fallout 4, where was 76? So it was like a good call not mentioning that. <laughs> you, mean, you mean the one they're about to shut off the Battle Royale not mode on because like eight people play it? So vast, but that we have measured it. I, I am loving the alien You're vibes I'm getting from this, though. Mm -hmm. Part of our family. Don't use What you okay. found, it's the key to unlocking everything. This is all we've been working towards. You know, for alpha footage, this is not bad. Mm -mm. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. This is an engine? Is it? It's, I think so, yeah. That's why we're here. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. Ooh. Okay. So November of next year. Yeah, All right. Wow. You're committing to a date. Keep an eye on it. With Mass Effect being one of my like favorite games, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I got some of those vibes too. I'm curious. They didn't give me quite enough to be Xbox exclusive. Yeah. 11, 11, 22. Day one with Game Pass, baby. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the world from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios. A groundbreaking game. And yes, it's exclusive. I like her Welcome shoes. To the Xbox yeah. Bethesda Game Showcase. I am so excited and proud to be here today celebrating games. Because although it's been an incredibly tough year, I am grateful that games have been such an important source. She hasn't been head of creator experience for very long, has she? Just like what a couple of years now? So. To forge the so. next era of gaming. Conjuring worlds never before possible. Boy, they have been killing it since she took that position though. Devices, and delivering the power of games to everyone and now we get to share that quest with bethesda not just as partners but as one team united in bringing the very best games to more people everywhere so today we get to reveal more of what's to come we have an amazing show 30 titles 27 in xbox game pass and of course every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox Series X and S. Yes. Offering next-gen performance, speed, and features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Next is something truly riveting. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World. Okay. Stalker 2. Coming first to Xbox Series consoles and PC. This will be a true next-gen experience, targeting 4K resolution and ray tracing. Let's take a look at what you'll get to play when it launches next year. When they said Starfield was a console exclusive, did they say it was an Xbox exclusive or is it just Xbox like... Exclusive. They said Xbox okay. exclusive. No, no, no PC, no PC then, right? That, no, because it's cloud gaming, so technically you could play it in okay. the browser. No. That's the thing. When Microsoft uh, says cool. Xbox exclusive now, that uh, includes PC no, because they're back. considering that all part of the, the <laughs> ecosystem. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Looking at those reflections, this has to be ray tracing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, this looks really good. Yeah, it does. Looks like they're use making better use of ray tracing than I've, a lot of things I've seen do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the first E3 I think we've had ray tracing be like a real thing. So I'm hoping yeah. that we see some good stuff. That's true, because everybody's had the hardware now, so they've been able to develop for it. Well, right. that and like the, the 20 series was okay at ray tracing. The 3000 series is like, at least as far as PC is concerned, really it's so much better. Yes. Yeah. Like the shadows there too. Yeah. Oh, look at the and the highlights. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at the light. Yep. This is a hundred percent just for the the light show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need face tracing though. Like I, I yeah. love these plates and reflections, but I still feel like I'm like five years back. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's a little charring that here's your it is. New water, but my face is still one of the five faces. Five generic faces or whatever. Yeah, that's that's something that I think you know, in um ah! Oh my god. Wow. All right. That's something that Lollipop and I have talked about before. Um, there are two companies that do really well with faces, and that's Square and Capcom. And Square has spoiled me. Yeah. Resident Evil Engine is just, it has ruined like everything else for me, honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I played Village right when it came out, and then went back and played Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Right after, like, when that released, and it's just Jaль, night and day how much progress we've made in that time frame. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a pretty light show. Yeah. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачной охоты, сталкер. Nice. Nice. Surviving here, rebuilding. Oh, another. Survive is not enough. You have my attention. You've got to fight. Is this dying light? No, we don't need to do anything. Right, what I like it. You saw written in any numbers. Hmm? Hang in there, Holly. Get high with your best friends. No rest for the wicked. Let's go! You're here! Come on! God, I love Mondays. That's no one ever. Right? Really? Someone who's 
only plays these games with friends, I'm somewhat interested. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like I spent hours on Left 4 Dead 2 with friends. Oh, Tom! Tom would love would love the um, the bad guy aspect. Tom always roots for the bad guy. Tom would be a zombie in this all day long. There's a zombie on my lawn. <laughs> we don't want zombies on the lawn. Ooh. Okay. Hey, do you follow that game? How... Do I want to know how you know that? I don't know that. I'm just being oh. a shit. That's <laughs> fair. Ooh, those are nice textures, though. I was going to say, like I'm loving the 70s vibe. Yep. Yep. Sure am. Lava lamp. Oh. I like it says, oh, the headphones. This is great. Real to real. Oh my god. I'm in love with this already. I don't care what it is. I fucking want it. I need yeah, it. This... Yeah, I'm loving the vibe on this. Me too. Band. All right. Looks like a crime co-op crime thing. Mm-hmm. My pe my interest is peaked. Mine too. I wonder how much they had to pay for that Steely Dan license. Like honestly. Hmm. I wonder yeah. how much I'm gonna get DMCA for that after the show. <laughs> I don't care. Sea of thieves. Sea of thieves. Oh, my package isn't here oh, yet. Where? Yar. Well, Captain Hoppers is interested. You're goddamn right I am. An eel wind blows from beyond I really need to get back into this game. A new danger is coming on the tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, trapped for all forever in the sea of the damned. Now to save the pirate life. You must start by saving the life of one. Doggy. Oh, come back, doggy. Oh. I realize we have company. Yeah. Captain Jack. No way. Oh, god damn it. But I suspect uh, you already knew that. Really? Mm. Oh. Uh. Do we really need this? I'm sorry. No, no, we really don't. Followed him here, and if it's not stopped, this like, world will sink into shadow. If I want Disney, if I want Disney all up in, a, in some shit, and I'll play Kingdom Hearts. I'm about that Thank life. Thank you. That's a good game. King, Kingdom Hearts is a great game, but I really. I mean, look, it was a theme park attraction that somehow became a theme series, like a, a film series. I don't need it in my, you know, sea of thieves. I really don't. I don't need Johnny Depp either. I don't either. I'm like, and I really don't need Johnny Depp getting paid. Check. Nope. Sure don't. I don't... Yeah. Well, I do worry about it, Ellie. I mean, up... perfect time to use these cannons. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A world without the attack of a base. But it'll make them money. It's a world that refuses to Because it will get new people into Sea of Thieves. Destroy that! I'd be one of those people. This actually intrigues me. For the reasons you guys don't like it. <laughs> like, damn that person. Saw well, that. I mean, like, well, there, well, there you go. See, suppose, so we're clearly wrong, so. Is the second one of those? <laughs> no, I mean, not necessarily. Everyone's got their audience. I just. No, totally. But, but, but I'm just saying, like, that shows there's an audience for this. 
Because I haven't played Sea of Thieves. The sea of Thieves, eh? Bring I, me that I have right. no audience, but you put you put Jack Sparrow in it, and, and I am now intrigued. Oh God. Oh, it's gonna be free too. Oh, yep, yep. Up, up. Yeah, here we go. There it is. Yes. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yep, they were teasing this yesterday. This. They sure were. All on Game Pass. Yep. Is everything. If I, have I love these games hands, so much. I've never played them. Time to call a friend. They like, but they just seem like ridiculously over the top goofy and I'm like I'm about it yeah I mean and they remind me a lot of like Shinmu from back in the day oh like, yeah it was, just, it was good happy birthday nice yes Oh! 128 players. This is some Battle Royale shit. Mm-hmm. Like Battlefield? Mm, uh... The Russian troops are falling back. Do whatever you can to secure the sector. Holy shit. We pushed them back, but not far enough. Do not let them regroup. Oh, that's cool. I got fucking tanks. Did you gain? Did you gain? I like the lights on the skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, really, really nicely done. Stop. Watch out. Me, who doesn't play things like this, is gonna go look for something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look shiny. Yeah. Listen, I'm. I've, I've told y'all before. My mom could watch a murder mystery or like some brutal movie, and it's like, oh, those are nice curtains. That was interesting UI for the weapons. Whoa! I am liking the little details we're getting on things. Like the thing that was detonating the grenade had like detailed words and stuff on it. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking that. Like now, like I said, we just need faces. Yeah. <laughs> like every other texture is catching up to like all the four and eight K stuff. And yeah, not faces need to be next. <laughs> like they have to be next. <laughs> you want to watch something funny? You watch um, someone who's botted one of the Resident Evil games to get the uh, facial animation. Like they jack I, I don't know what the percentage exactly means but they jack it up to like a thousand percent on the facial animations mm -hmm. or something like that and then just everyone acts corny as hell and it's <laughs> yeah there you go you called it in october 22nd of this year wow all right console launch exclusive so how was your day oh uh, you know I have something to share. What is this, my birthday? We're having a baby. Police. Oh, oh like yeah, this. Liam Duff's phone, you say? What's going on? Shut mm -hmm. up. Know what this is. Yep. I mm. need all this time. I should never have to you. I'm out of patience. Mm. Uh, uh. What? I know I say this a lot, but I love you. I say this a oh, lot, wow. too, but back at you. That's actually, I'm, 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 into, I'm into this. 
that seems like that'll be an interesting kind of, you know, smaller game to play. I'm into offbeat time travel. Me too. My face is offbeat time travel. It's true. What? Is this is this new Psychonauts? Look at all these gadgets. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. Mm. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. Definitely. For justice. The Exploration. Fate of free thinking world is in your hands. That sounds extremely dangerous. I'm afraid that know. means <laughs> the dead Leno office for you. The mission is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. This is a mission about the fate of the world. Can you do that? Yes, if I can find some bacon. I'm <laughs> going to ignore that last part. Bacon or bacon? Right? Yeah, seriously. Yes, ignore the part about bacon. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yeah, this is the app, Robo. This is gonna Psychonauts two. I think is gonna be really good. This is really usually good. the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E three showcase. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year. And whether you've known Bethesda for thirty five years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for Whoa. Total Bethesda games. Wow. That includes so all of Fallout games, like is on Game, game Pass now. Doom Eternal. If Good. you're looking for another reason to play it, Doom Maternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Yeah. There you go. This With ray tracing. Will be free for everyone who owns Doom Eternal. And on Series X, yeah. it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Lollipop, you want to come well, over and play it on the X? Mood for an RPG, like Skyrim, I wonder, I wonder if that's going to get ported on PC, the, the ray tracing. celebrate it without you. So share your feelings. Because that's going to be pretty. And more on Skyrim10.com. Hey, look, they're going to release a 10th anniversary edition of Skyrim so that we can buy it again for the 17th time. I was going to say, I mean, that's not the joke. Like, custom camp building, storylines, warring factions, unique characters. Yeah, seriously, no one cares about 76. All here. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass. They already have it on their fridge. an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Is Fallout 76 popular on Game Pass because no one wants to buy it outright? Yeah, and, and because you haven't been able to get the other Fallout games. That's all I can figure, honestly. Yeah, like, that's... Like, I know there are people that really like it. Here, so I'll play it. Like, right, exactly. It's here, and I already pay for Game Pass for Fort these Atlas other value safe. things, so let me go push through right. some of the stuff I would not pay for. The yeah. Brotherhood must stand united. The super mutant threat takes priority. This proves more than anything the need for our justice. You are splitting our forces, Shin. Like from what I've heard, they did make something of 76 sort of, but it was just not enough and the so it comes to horrendousness this. at the beginning kind of screwed everything else. Right. I thought you understood what that insignia meant. Like, they kind of, from what I've heard, they've kind of no man's guide it, but they were too big to get away with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, 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 and frankly, like, it had the Fallout name, right? Like, unfortunately, I think it had been called something else, it would have been a different story. Right. But calling it Fallout gave it expectations that it didn't live up to. 100%. 
I believe that we are now strong. Well, three and four are two of the best games ever, right? And so when you're gonna follow it up with this is a choice. That can never what up exactly? We'll just go with that. I, I think that I, I I agree with that. I think that's appropriate. Well, it's free content. What the hell was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report. Over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? Come on. This isn't funny. I know you can hear me. I could have sworn I just saw a pit boy, but okay. Okay. All right. So more Fallout 76 content. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with an amazing community. The Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online Studios has now surpassed 18 million players and shows no signs of slowing down. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. And with the release of ESO Console Enhanced this Tuesday, the game will deliver a true native experience optimized for the Series X and S. You know, ESO is one of those things that, like, I feel like it was rough at the start, but it really hit its stride going, like, where it's at now. Like, I haven't looked it's at it in years. Um, an old gamer friend of mine is actually big into it. She's big into it. She streams it. And it's it's hit its stride. It has its its community, and a lot of its community actually, uh, not a lot, but a chunk of it is um, their, their housing. They do player housing like no one else does. Hmm. Like. Interesting. Stunning the things you can do with player housing and with just a little bit of mods with player housing. So that's one of like, that's what she streams. She literally, her entire stream is going around and touring people's in-game player houses and the things they do and the things they put together and stuff like that. Like, Oh, that's cool. I see, I, that's a stream I would watch. I, I won't lie. Like the game has never interested in me, but I would watch a stream like that. And it's yeah. cool that they've built that like after all these years that they've, you know, found like their place and their community. I like that. They, they do seem to have a big community for that. Um, the game, it, it's an MMO, it, it's, it, it's got its stuff. With new right. Rules. I, I would now, say that, like, is off the table. it's player housing. I would say this battle almost we'll even better than 14. But 14 fighter. is pretty damn good in my book. Is this Animal Party? Wait. I, uh, potentially. Oh. I don't know what that means. Oh my god, Oh my god, this horrible. is Animal Party. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is Animal Party. This is okay. hilarious. Okay, this is going to be really fun to play with people. Oh my god. This is this game is hilarious. I've seen gameplay of this. Mm -hmm. I you? this is a need. This is a must. Okay, can I we talk care. about the corgi with the crossbow? Like I'm I'm about it. Yeah. And about this whole thing, honestly, like, this this is adorable. This is going to be a really fun like game to play online, a game to play like in person. This I is am like, all about the fun cuteness. This game is great. I wonder if I've Allie Pup would like it. I don't know. If she, I don't know if she'll like it. Oh, she's freaking out. I don't. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I think she's. Uh, I, I, she could take it or leave it, probably. <laughs> probably. I mean, you could too. I mean, you know, it's not like there's probably going to be a bear or anything. If there's not a bear, I'll riot. <laughs> this looks ridiculous and amazing. Yeah. Okay, I'm here for this. Oh my god, there's a yep. there's a gator with sunglasses. Well, Sabrina's gonna want to play pig. this. Oh my god, the pig is so cute. I think we found something the punk we pig. All are here for yes. Party animals. That's gonna be good. Yeah, that looks That's really really pig. good. Eighties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. I haven't Hi. played this, but I've I watched Tom play this, and this looks this this game is just beautiful. I was gonna say I've seen Izzy play a little bit of this, and it's phenomenal. Not my thing, but as also really as someone great. who took three years of Latin in high school, the mythology yeah. speaks to me. Try and stop me.
and like I, I, I love so much about this game, like the style, the like the visual style, the, the storytelling. Style. And Zundeferon is summoned. Yeah, there he is. There yeah, he is. is. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've been playing this on Switch, and it's really good, so I'm very excited that this is going to be on Xbox. Yeah. And on Game Pass, like, I'll, I'll, I'll play mean, the that, hell out of it. I was going to say, that might get me to, like, screw around with it, because it's not my style, but... I've, right, like, that's the tried. thing, but if it's on Game Pass, like, you don't have to, yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. You have to pay money for it. Well, exactly. That's, that's why I like Game Pass so much. I can try out different games I wouldn't usually give a shot to. Okay, but can you pet the dog? Most important question yes, here. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it is the most important question. Second most important question, do I get to sleep like those people were just sleeping? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I want that quality of sleep. Or like I just feel. sitting on the couch? Like that passed out. Ooh, I'm getting I'm getting Limbo vibes from this, and I loved Limbo. Oh, I also loved Limbo. Yeah, this is totally having Limbo vibes. Oh, this hey, is... Hey, do you guys think... Do you guys think we're going to get a new Smash character revealed during this presentation? <laughs> God damn it, Lana. <laughs> you think it'll, like, hit him for it? No. Yeah, just throw something throw something over at him. Okay, I can, I'll find something to throw at him. All right. Probably a pen. Listen, at least I didn't talk about Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed <laughs> <of> RPG by... <laughs> That that doesn't happen until later. That's like an hour and a half from now. Somerville, huh? Okay. Twenty twenty two. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, I yeah, I fucking sure love Limbo. On, but... Like Limbo was incredible. Limbo was really good. This holiday oh. marks the twentieth anniversary uh. of Xbox. And the twentieth anniversary Hello. of Halo. Here we go. To our millions of passionate fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Our goal has always been to bring players together. And for the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players God damn it, Robo. Xbox and PC with no you shut up over there. Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you. Than you know, I feel bad for Bonnie because she's been a taking a lot of player. shit for a lot of things that's been going on with the series for the last few years. With Joseph Staten, the creative director of Halo Infinite. From helping craft the original Halo Combat Evolve to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 ODST, oh, Joseph is a there Halo you go. visionary. Oh, ODST. It's so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world okay all in engine this is just Man. one part of the zeta halo ring the largest most wide open environment we've ever built and we can't wait for you to explore it halo has always just been about shooting my friends in the living room but i'll go with it i mean same to be honest <laughs> the heart of halo is spartan the halo story isn't actually that Master bad Chief. like i've, I've I'm it's never been it my favorite story, thing, but it's it's been it's been pretty good. Yet. I've always I'm liked. Yeah, it's, it's, I've just always alone. been here for skull ball and such things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Thought I was gonna ball. say like the story is actually better than most of these types of games. I will give them that, but I've never it's never been my top of mind. I'm like I'm just wanting to shoot my friends in my living room. <laughs> Wait, this, <laughs> is, this like is in engine. This is in yeah. engine. It said yeah. Whoa. Okay, then they've this is leaps and bounds better than the last time they showed it. I told you. It's enough. Oh, so fucking, see. fucking Steve Down's voice, man. Good lord. Hey, the physics are giving me the 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 tingles, like. Yeah. I agree. <gasps> There's not much time. <sighs> I could cry. Every time I hear Cortana's voice now, I want to cry for several reasons, both, both in and out of the Halo universe. Ooh. Okay. What happened? 
Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. Because I don't like She's her been deleted. Computer. What? How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay, then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good? Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. <sighs> Are you sure? Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Finally, I, I'm very happy to announce. I don't even care about Halo multiplayer. I want to know what happened to Cortana. Multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign will launch together. I'm gonna need a new TV to holiday. get 120 frames a second, though. But oh, that's true too. Us. A new generation built to fight. I'm not mad at it. No, no, not at all. All gameplay captured in engine. Nice. Ooh. Free hunt scanner. Yep. Grapple. There it is. No scope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what I've learned in the past like 15 years, I might be interested in the multiplayer of this. Right? <gasps> the hammer! Like, fuck me, I love the hammer. Okay, is anybody else getting a little bit kind of like choked up? Like, we're at 20 years of Halo. Like... I know. And this is what it looks like. Hello. This is kind of amazing. Some damage. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm reminiscing back to like when I was playing it when I was like 18 with friends. Like crash yeah, landing yeah, on the original insane. ring. No, I'm like literally like back in my like my living room, my college dorm room, like with people playing this game. All the various iterations. Playing with my best friend from high school in his living room. Yeah, I'm having so many fraternity like party like flash acts when I would like go to frat parties and then kick the guy's ass is at Halo. Fuck yeah. I was no good at it. I, I, was, I had no skill. At one point we played a game of could I get my initials shot in the wall with bullet holes before they found me. Ooh. <laughs> that, was, that was my goal at one point. That, when we that's were amazing. The wall. Just thinking about like, we'd everybody come over and get drunk and we had the rule. If you can't drive the warthog, you can't drive home. And nobody could drive the Warthog sober, so it worked out. Free to play. <laughs> Whoa. I'm, I'm here for it. Oh my god, we're getting it this year, actually. Holy shit. Yeah, exactly. You know that they, 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 have, they really wanted it for the 20th anniversary. They're yeah. Like, we gotta do it. Yeah. Blizzard Entertainment. What? Evil has survived. No. Yep. The dark figure wanders no. in the east. Mm -hmm. Fort? Devil Fort? You guys don't have phones? You must be stopped. <laughs> Dang. Sorry. Dang. Costs. Harsh but fair. <laughs> I was gonna say, nothing against Xbox or Microsoft here. I have my issues with Blizzard right now. <laughs> Diablo. Yep, D4. Oh, no, this, no, this is what? the two. Remake. This is the This is the remake no. of two. Yeah, I was gonna say this is two. Yeah, which like so far has looked really, really good. It looks nice. Cross progression. Oh, okay.
like watching this get played and have the like the switching the graphics back and forth live reminded me of playing like god even on the 360 the secret of monkey island where you could go back and forth between the modern and the classic graphics just on the fly so much fun Ooh, eight player co-op mm -hmm. all right they well just gotta do this one right though the last time they tried to remake an old game they rolled a one on it Diablo is probably a little bit more fit for remaking though. But it will be yeah. greatest moment. Like, I, okay. I'm here you for know, a good co-op game, honestly. Yeah, you know, I think I still have my Diablo 2, like, special edition, collector's edition from, like, when it launched. Nice. In 2000 or whatever. I think that's still in my parents' basement someplace. That's amazing. Captured in-engine. things... Where do they come from? From all of us. From what we do to him. Can you stop it? I don't know. But he's my brother. And I would die for him. That's, that's a, that's a... Yeah, that's a flood of rats. Are that rats? That's oh, rats. Bugs. I'm pretty sure those are rats. Whatever it is, they've given me the heebie-jeebies successfully, so... We were just talking about faces. We sure were. Alright. Wow. If this is an engine, this is gorgeous. A plague tale. Yep. That's rats, mm -hmm. all right. Hey, are we just beginning a new fable? Yeah. Isn't that a thing? Yeah, we are. We sure are. I wonder if we'll hear about it today. How We're crushing of them to make a plague game, like, before they all knew that, you know. <laughs> wonder how many people bought Plague Inc. when COVID started. Guilty yeah. as charged. Hola, fascista. What is this, the new Tropico? I recognize that voice. Let me ask you a question. God, we're only halfway when through, too. And Yara is burning? Hmm. What exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Hey, it's the, ch sure, it's, it's the chicken guy. Like the song. Hmm? Time you learn about resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, Eguerrilla needs the right tool for the right job. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Keep talking. It's a stealth operation. I got you covered. Yeah, <laughs> hatchet somebody in the face. All right. Taking out a high value target. I have just what you need. You want to blow shit up? One Cortez. Yep. I love service. blowing shit up. I always. I was just saying, I love to blow shit up. That's my favorite. Yes, always, yes. I play dungeons just to get spicy hats. I just want to throw TNT at everything. Boy, howdy, do you throw TNT at everything? <laughs> And us. Everyone and Everything and everyone. What? Whatever. Let's be clear here. <laughs> Not discriminatory. Ooh, Ooh, and chickens. chickens. Oh my god, it's got... Say, I'm here for the chickens. The done, it's got punk chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you me. Is a chicken? Are you pet the goth chicken? Next time I... I <gasps> Look at the pup! Oh, Look at the good pup! Okay, they are better at puppy faces than they are at faces. I mean, yeah. priorities though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> go kart and a flying go kart. Gonna, I was gonna say, yep. I'll take one of these. Yep. Yep, Far Cry 6. So do I. Wow. I love that I call series that I haven't even played before. <laughs> like, I called Battlefield, called that. Ooh, new Wind Waker. 
Just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> if only. Oh. I'm still waiting for that the HD remake to get ported up to the Switch. I will pay them another $60 for it. I don't give a fuck. Absolutely. I don't know what this is, but they have my attention. I was going to say, this is pretty. Mm hmm. And <gasps> oh my. It's new Slime Rancher! I haven't played the first one, but I keep meaning to. Oh my god, you would love Slime Rancher. Oh my god, it is new Slime Rancher. This is so cute. Oh my god, the first one is so much fun. It's so adorable. Yeah, now I want to play the first one because this is great. Yeah, it's really good. I own it. It's just been one of those, like, so many right. hours like, I... Exactly, exactly. This is... But now I might have to so that I'm ready for this. When is this coming out? Did they give a date on this yet? Not yet. They haven't given a date yet. Okay. Slime Rancher 2. 2. two. Electric Boogaloo. A wiggly new yeah. adventure begins next year. Okay, so we don't have a date yet. Just a year. Okay, well, that gives me That's time fair. to play the Lime Lancer. Play but again, on Game Pass. Game Pass. Game Pass. So we don't have yes. to pay for it. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, the no, first we're... one's so okay, adorable. It's so much fun. Bunch. Welcome back to Shredageddon. Here's a new trick. Let's go. All footage recorded in game. Tony Hawk for snowboards. Okay, you know what? I love 1080 snowboarding for N64. Yeah. And if this this kind of gives me those vibes, but you know, modern. So mm. I'm here for it. I won't lie. Yeah. I this mean, looks I, good. I, I do know sports, and I played the shit out of some coming Tony Hawk on my N64. So I mean, I'm not. Tony gonna, Hawk is I, the greatest. Oh yeah. I am interested. Powder effects look really good. Yeah, they do. And everyone has ski masks and things on, so no, no, no faces. faces. <laughs> don't have to. You don't have to render a face if you put a, a mask and goggles over it. <laughs> right. Your faces Ooh. aren't bad if you don't have any faces. That's right. Shredders. All right. Blothering whip Nice. All right. Yeah. I'm here for we it. We have yeah. a good feeling about December. I like that. I like the way they put that. I, I do. That's honest. Mm hmm. I like that honesty. What? Uh -huh. oh, my Faces. I like the music. Mm-hmm. What is that, Russian? I think so. It might be. Nanobots. Nanobots. I like her hair. Implants. The yeah, hair was... Too. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm confused, but that doesn't. I'm confused, but intrigued. Me. That's fair. Phoenix. I love retro terminals. Oh my God! Give me a CRT any day of the week. Yep. Oh. Oh. Okay, style-wise, like my first thought was Axiom Verge. I can see that. And I loved Axiom Verge. 
God, this is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the lighting music. is really good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's really hard to get, like, modern lighting shadows, speculars, but have that pixelated look to it. And, like... Exactly. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. And I like the music, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's an arcade? There's an L. Maybe it's just the giant window, but I got Castlevania vibes for a second. Mm-hmm. Yep. Replaced. That looks gorgeous. I am... I am intrigued. I... Oh, my God. Axiom Verge like was amazing. I feel like this is something that Izzy might so play. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for Face sure. Face is intriguing. Not my... Not my thing, but I might watch him play it. I'll intrigue your face. Ooh. You already do. In the first year of grounding. Oh, okay. Millions of players kept busy with crafting. Oh, fighting. you have my attention. I was gonna say. <laughs> crafting. <laughs> crafting. You have my attention. Flying things. Now, to celebrate, we present. The Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what they've been asking for. Like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people will <laughs> <laughs> when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, mushrooms. I but think I've been guys, looking at this game and just haven't bitten on it. Also and got something that sitting is no actually a was selling point. For. I was gonna say I haven't I have I was not aware of this game. What the trailer's so funny. <laughs> like the fact that they were like literally no one asked for this, but here you go. <laughs> probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I love when they don't take themselves seriously, like, and they go all in on that shit. Yeah. Also, if I if I were like ten years old, I would love this. Oh yeah. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Very well done. That, that, awesome. That might get put on our Xbox. Oh, yeah, I haven't. Oh, here it is. Here it is, folks. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to, we're going to end up, we're going to end up playing this. Yes. I don't know. You're pretty sus. <laughs> what tasks were you doing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I, I what Jesse was doing. He won't remember. That's true. Yeah, I might, I might, I, we might have to play grounded one night. But this? Yeah. I have not Coming played soon. grounded, Ellie. So that is definitely something I'm gonna have to poke my head into. Robo, you always look kind of sus. Girl, he is a Robo. It's true. And you're a ba rabbit and bear studio. Rabbit and bear studios. I, d I wasn't aware that that Zundefron and I were collaborating on a game. <laughs> Apparently, you are. <laughs> okay, I'm getting fire emblem vibes. That's what I was about to say. Yep. Like. Apparently, uh, Izzy and Zach, uh, fire emblem. Got it. Yeah, I guess so. Ooh. Oh, I love this art style. Ooh. I love this art style. Ooh. There was a Even, shark person. Uh, did you see that Square's starting to remake like older, older games with this art style? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Like they're gonna give Dragon Quest Three this treatment, treatment, and that was one of my um first RPGs outside of Pokemon that I ever played. So I'm excited for that. Ready for new war. Octopath travel kind of vibe. I'm here for yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, this looks... Octopath, yeah. Fire Emblem, yes, definitely one of those kind of... Totally. Wow. And I am here for it. I'm getting that. Wow. Like a two-part game? 
No, I think it's two separate. Two separate? Uh. They had two different release dates on it. You have shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. We wish to test your abilities. It's like Diablo, but with guns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And lots of ray tracing. And Probably lots of ray tracing. The Ascent. Ooh. Coming July 29th. Wow, that's pretty quick. Wow, that's quick. Yeah, it's about six weeks from now. Not... Is it? Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I pretty close. I think we're later in June than we are. History is all around us. Those who made it have what? never been forgotten. Their daring choices echo across time, turning land into kingdoms and mortals into legends. Aww. If history was in your hands, what would you build? Is this an age of... <gasps> no way. How would you no. Where would you go? This looks like Age of Empires to me. No. Is this four? That's it. Oh, that's the, the arc. It has to be. That's the music. That's, that's this is four. This is Age of Empires four. Holy shit! Yes. Gimme, gimme, yeah. gimme, 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 gimme. Oh yes. I grew up. Sucking at Age of Empires, gimme! Oh yes! Yeah, I did too, I did too, yeah, this is awesome. The Rise of Rome expansion, that was my first and it was it's always been my favorite. And... That's it, that's four. Three, but, uh, Ooh. four. I'll take it. Wow, that like they've really they've really done really well with the engine. Oh my god, did it say cloud? It did. What the fuck? Okay, console exclusive. We begin by well, hearing pretty. an old, wise-sounding voice. Facey and purple, of course you would. And we see a quiet. Oh, but this is pretty. Setting. This is great. This will make our game seem big and important. <laughs> now, something must break. <laughs> All right, I like something. their attitude. Will this creature be in the game? Wait. No. Say goodbye to it forever. <laughs> Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. <laughs> oh my, what is this trailer? trailer? Really I love this trailer. But I love it. And should bolster pre-sale numbers. Should bolster pre-sale numbers. <laughs> that wah sound can mean only one I, thing. I want to buy this, and I don't even know what it is. Over I know, I will support them just for this. This is so and funny. There should be lens flares. <laughs> now we see our hero, but only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. <laughs> or finished the like gameplay me. that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title. What? Wow! I'm. Done! So, haven't played the first, don't know a fuck thing about it, I'm done. Worlds it. Is the, Outer Worlds is uh, Obsidian the, taking mm -hmm. the perfect taking game Fallout trailer with it. finally exists. Wow, yep. just outstanding. I'm here for it. That was beautiful. Gonna, trailer, of, like three seconds. trailer of the whole thing, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh. Okay, this is, this, is sim. this is cinematic. This this might be flight sim for for console. For Xbox, I think this might be flight sim for console, which is what everybody's been wanting. Yep. Yeah, Ali, that trailer 4K. was hilarious. Oh my god, this is this is it. This we're flight sims coming to console. Woo! Wow. I can sit on my living room and go visit Egypt. It's true. I gotta tell you, like, with the pandemic and everything, 
the new flight sim could not have come at a better time. Honestly, and I got a 3080 and, and it, it pushes that hard. So I'm actually excited to play it in 4K on my Xbox. I'm tempted to install it on my 30 on my machine and try it on my 3090 and see how that goes. Cause like it's it's gorgeous. Loki just dropping that he's got a 3090 in there, like. I know. On my 3090. I did get a 3090 for a friend, but I, I kept the 3080 for myself. You are a very good friend. She is. It's true. Wow. Speaking of pandemic timing, the pandemic has made me want VR so badly. That's... Same, but I don't have the space for it. Yeah, same. Also, do we with, with everything that they're advertising as Game Pass? Do you do you want to talk about how you want to give one away? I do. Okay, <laughs> so real quick, um, the bar up above at the top. Um, I'm still really trying to hit 250 followers by the end of this month. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm trying. But once we hit that 250, I'm giving away another three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So everything that you see that's marked as Game Pass, you'll be able to play that day one. So follow the channel. Tell your friends to follow the channel. I want to give this thing away. So you can play all of this amazing stuff. Free expansion. Wow. Where else can they go? Adding Top Gun content, apparently. Uh, yeah, yes. apparently so. Okay, all right. Oh, this is in engine. Oh, God. Love the water. Wow. Okay, the trees that this. God, it's ridiculous. I love how much they have to specify that all of this is in engine anymore. Like, the, the lines keep getting blurred. Thanks, Allie. I love your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is this new Forza? It's, is this, what would this be, 7 now? Or is this a new Horizon? I'm here for this music. Mm-hmm. Yep. So this has to be Forza, but it's... Yeah, Forza Off-Road um, something. That's something that I've always loved about that series. Like, I'm not I'm not into cars, but just the fact that they use Forza as a way to, to show the engine and the hardware capabilities and push that is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always been a great showcase for that. It has. It's the Gran Turismo of, of Xbox. Oh, it's yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Like, Turn 10, they're, they are doing their thing, and they're doing it so well. They are. And I'm not into cars, but for my car aficionado friends, they say they get the details correct. That it's, like, a really good representation. That's what I hear, too. My husband's going to be very excited about this. This is just... Wow. The lava... Horizon 5, so it is the new Horizon. I, I figured it was with all the off-roading and everything. November yep. 9th, wow. So just in time for the holiday season. Hello, I'm Mike Brown, Creative Director at Playground Games. And Hi, I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Horizon is known for fun, freedom, and beauty. This year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. Okay, Ali, so this like, is, this is your kind of stuff diverse then. diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon game. Nice. And there is no better car to explore it than the stunning AMG Project One Forza Edition. Rendered huh. in unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles. Wow. I've invited along that is the one thing that Forza hasn't had up until now is ray tracing. That's waiting and now, like, Forza the Horizon realism is just getting even Please more welcome ridiculous. Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don from the Forza team. Hey, Mike. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing in the game. Bienvenidos a Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. 
We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. This is a new campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new locations and discover places for the festival. The reflections are just on like. The river now. We're getting close. There you are. How's the expedition going? I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle, Rami. Doesn't get much better than this. I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida al Smal. Look out for the flamingos! This city is still a jewel of Mayan architecture. That's a peek at our adventurous campaign. But Forza Horizon has always been a game that's best enjoyed with others. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles God. allow us to capture every last detail, right down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. Wow. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. This is in-game. Maddie is behind the wheel of the AMG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush living desert. The perfect place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Wow. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. You know what would be really cool? And I'm, I'm sure they've thrown this idea around. But Let's if they had Maddie a two-wheeled version of this series. And meet Don. Yeah. Don is that would be cool. Move, exploring this idyllic seaside town. Like, I know a lot of people this who aren't car people, but they are Mexico absolutely bike honest, people. Authentic and filled with love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Oh, hey, what's up? This is yeah, a I think in the open world Mexican especially, that would be fun. Rueda, just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces God. of Mexico you'll find all over Forza Horizon 5. That's amazing. While Don drives down to the beach, we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera Volcano. Check out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's Sierra in her favorite off-road buggy. Oh the my god. Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest point. Oh my god, it's got go-karts. And thanks to the power you got of the Xbox series console, oh. <laughs> go-kart your face. Miles in every direction. Wow. In the distance, we can just about make out Guanajuato. Let's take a closer look. Guanajuato is one of the most beautiful cities anywhere in the world. It's a colorful, undulating city full of vibrant architecture. Good it even Lord. has a sprawling network of tunnels. And these twisting, turning, overlapping streets mean that as well as looking good, it plays great too. As we see here, as Don is challenged in Horizon's open world battle royale, The Eliminator. While Don tries to win that race, the rest of our players are still out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon series is like that. Known for that looks like a film. Beauty. That does not. Using that looks our filmed. HDR camera rig. We captured 24-hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution, and thanks to the Xbox Series consoles, these photorealistic skies result in lifelike lighting that dynamically changes Sounds every like frame, that's because it making you feel is, like you're really there. Wow. Here's the skyboxes and such. She's joined by yeah. Abraham and some other members of the team. But Our like, players wow. Are using Forza Link, the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and the people you meet online and then helps you link up and play together. We'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill and the rest of our players. Here we see our new volumetric lighting system filling the scene with god rays as the sunlight dapples through the dense rainforest. A Horizon arcade minigame is about to start. Forza Link knows that Bill loves minigames, so it intelligently prompts Sierra to invite Bill. Bill accepts, and they're seamlessly linked The way that they've used machine GPS learning in Forza for years is amazing. Like, the, when the drive avatars came out, I was blown away. Coming together. Totally. This minigame is called Pinata Pop, signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of pinatas. Ooh, over this way. Those are the pinatas from Viva Pinata. Our players now have to work together to find and pop as many as they can. Okay, go up here to the left. There's loads along the main road. Here I go. I'll take a look at the bushes here. There's some between the houses. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more over here. Sweet. While the team grabbed those last few pinatas, 
we're going over to the stadium because I have one more thing to show you. Bowling? This what? is Event Lab, the incredible <laughs> new tool set that allows you to create your own races, game modes, and oh, gameplay experiences. Oh my god. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Oh. The rules of the game. This is this is Halo Forge, but for Forza. Wow. That's cool. I mean, the like racing games, and that looks the cool. Yeah. I was going to say, this is the part that's going to like appeal to the people you know, who aren't that into cars racing but like to build their own stuff. The how, how long before somebody recreates Xbox Rocket League in Forza? Thank you so like two much. days, top. See you yeah. In Mexico later this right? year. Wow. That's gorgeous. Team There's Xbox Phil. Bring Yay. the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. That's why you, the gamer, are at the center of everything we do. Today, we showed you 30 games. 27 of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. But there's still like 15 minutes now, left. Through the end of the year, you can look forward to back-to-back -to -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass. Led by five new titles from Xbox. Oh, he's wearing Game his Studios, Bethesda hoodie, nice. As well as highly anticipated mm -hmm. games like Back for Blood, 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by Master the creativity Chief for of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively. Starfield to looks Xbox. really good. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6. Oh, they we said it. The stunning multiplayer mode. They acknowledged the it. That's a big deal. Shooter in Halo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They did Adding mention Fable. The roster like of iconic earlier. Xbox yep. shooters alongside Wolfenstein, Gears of War, Perfect Dark, and doom we premiered the most doom, doom, epic doom, doom, open world doom, racing doom, doom, game forza doom. horizon 5 doom, 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 doom. bringing you a vibrant and authentic depiction of mexico in a game built from the ground up for next gen while the team at turn 10 is hard at work on the next <laughs> we have our people trying to fix fallout 76 yeah our growing yeah. family of 23 studios 23. is devoted to 23. enhancing the we all love Xbox has been here for 20 years, and that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's one more thing. There it is. Yeah. Take a look at this brand new original game from the Arcane team at Bethesda, the studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Arcane created something new for them, an open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. And like Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. All right. This is gonna be 15 minutes worth. Oh. <laughs> Telekinesis, I'm in. Oh, her outfit is so cool. Yep. Telekinesis and robots, I'm in. Yep. Your B, robots. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> and nerds. And nerds. Go on, make yourself useful. I do like the cyberpunk vibe, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, that was fun. Face look at the faces. The faces are good. Right? The faces are good. The faces are good. Faces are faces. Sleep tight. The glowing eyeball? Alright. You think they can't kill you anytime they want? The physics on her hair are good. Like, oh, her come, hair looks real good. Like, come on. <laughs> V 
Vampires? The face is good on him, too. Yeah. How do we always get into this shit? <laughs> How they got into this shit? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's already one of my favorites. Ooh. Where's the other one? Where'd it go? Give me a taste. That's bad. Yeah. Taste this, cabrona! baby yeah seriously can you pet the robot this is the important you better be able to right yeah i think there's vampire in this really what does it taste like be specific like blood <laughs> death and strawberry <laughs> let's keep moving Sure thing, Edgar Allan Bro. Edgar Allan Bro. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. <laughs> <laughs> Fair Ooh. point. Ooh. <laughs> if COVID was vampires. Is <laughs> wow. That's the shirt. That was the yeah. shirt we saw earlier. Yep. That's seven minutes now. Day one on Game Pass. I guess we're going to do the recap now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I just love how much of this is just showing off engine, which I'm about. Mm-hmm. The updates to Halo Infinite look really, really good. Oh, that looks so, so good. So, stupid question. Did they name their engine, Engine? Or just, their, is it their engine, or what? Bring me that horizon. If we can no. Uh, oh, okay. No, there's different engines for most of these. Okay. They've definitely... I'm so excited for Age of Empires. So am I. Wow. Yeah, that's that looks really good. Honestly, oh, I love you, Ali Pup. Thanks for being here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, like, I'm glad that it's, it's vampires and not zombies, because, uh, frankly, I'm a little zombied out. 
I was gonna say, we've all had the zombies now. It's been a decade. Yeah. I like zombies. I do too, but like... There's Walking no Dead is... I was gonna say, Walking Dead has been out for... is old now. I mean, I'm not against it, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's like do something out. else. Cool. Like there's other stuff out there. Wow. Nice. So I think is that it? Oh. Is that... Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, the fridge. <gasps> it's the fridge! It's the fridge. You know I'm buying the goddamn fridge. They, I am too. They said they were going to make it. They said they would. Oh my god. When is the mini fridge available? Fuck the games. Give me the fridge. Velocity cooling. Velocity <laughs> cooling. <laughs> yes, this is really happening. Xbox Series fridge. Xbox and chill. <laughs> Holiday 2021. Woo! Shut up and take my money. Okay, I think it's actually over now. Yeah, okay. Alright. Wow. So that was a thing. That was a lot of things. That was many things. Wow. Like, I think 30 things. Okay. Like 30 things. Excuse you. Wait a minute. I'm kind of one. Most of them are cute. It went dark again. I was just making sure there was nothing else. Okay, I think it... Okay, it's over. Um... Oh boy, that's a lot to digest. Um, so let's, let's start with the fridge. First of all, like let's, let's go mm -hmm. there. Um, when they did like the full size fridge marketing stunt and I was into it cause I mean, we know me well enough at this point, but, um, I forget what the, what the conditions of it were, but Aaron Greenberg, who's uh head of marketing, he, he, there was something about it. I think there was some event that they had that if they got enough people involved that they were going to make the mini fridge and it happened. Oh, it was the, it was their Twitter, Twitter marketing had a, this whole like bracket battle between all these different brands on Twitter and Xbox ended up winning. It was like Xbox and Skittles were the last two. And he said that if Xbox won, they would make the mini fridge an actual thing. And sure enough, they did. And now they are, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's ridiculous and I'm here for it. Um, but like, like it's, it's a little, it's a little baby and I need it. And I'm going to put it over here. Probably it's going to be great. Um, so yeah, but let's, let's talk about the game. So we didn't get any, like any hardware or any other stuff today. Like it was literally just games, which I understand. And I'm, I'm about, um, so let's start. I'm unsurprised, but slightly sad. Uh, yeah, I can, I can. Yeah. Yeah. So, Elena, let's start with you. What's the th what is the thing that you are looking forward to the most? I'm Rancher too. Okay. All right. <laughs> Age of Empires 4 is a close second, but Slime Rancher 2. Yeah. Slime Rancher 2 it looks really really cute and the first one was amazing. I can't wait to see what it looks like with ray tracing. Like it's it's going to be just adorable. Um I'm make me rebuild my computer for this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can play it on the yeah. Xbox. Um I I, I could, but but they're going to make me rebuild my computer for this because I want ray tracing. That's a fair point. <laughs> that's a fair point. Uh, Lollipop, what about you? What's what's the one that stands out to you? I know you said you wanted um, some Doom Eternal stuff, which you got a little bit of. I'm getting some updates for Doom Eternal, which is fine. Um, Animal Party. Looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Party Animals looks like it's going to be really, really good. Um, I keep calling it Animal Party. It's yeah, funny. It's the same thing. Whatever. Listen. Like crossbow corgis and punk rock pigs. I mean, come on. Um, Christina, what about you? 
Uh, okay, so so party animals, I'm definitely here for. I'm actually excited about uh, Starfield. I think that um, that even though we're like a year off or what a year and a half off, like that, I'm actually that looked really good. Yeah. Um, so I, I I'm excited about that. Yeah, I am too. Um, it like I'm. Um, so I haven't I I didn't pick up the remastered uh, Mass Effect trilogy. Um, I'm, I've been kind of waiting it out and I played the first two anyway, so I'm, I'm sure I will go back and p- pick it up at some point to play. Um, but to have something that kind of gave us those kind of vibes. Yes, that was, the, that was what I, I loved Mass Effect and I haven't, I haven't had a chance to play the trilogy again yet, but I'm going to, that's going to be the thing I do, you know, in the coming weeks. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm with you. Like it has that same vibe and I love those, t- those types of like, you know, RPG, you know, kind of action RPG things. And, um, the, the alien vibes that it was giving me, you know, like it was, it was very good. Like it, I had like deep Ridley Scott vibes from that. Yeah. Um, just from what we saw. And I was like, I'm, I'm here for this. Yeah. Um, so Halo Infinite, it looks like they really did. Um, they, they, they went back and cleaned up the they engine. That a year. They did. They did. Like they've, I know a lot of people were upset with what happened last year. Um, it just, it didn't look like where it needed to be. And I think they were right. And they came back and I think they redeemed themselves for that. Cause it looks amazing. Um, plus we've got, you know, we had all of that in game footage, um, I'm still, you know, I, I want to figure out what's going on with Cortana. Um, yeah, I think it looks great. Um, age of empires four. Wow. Like they have really, really worked on that engine and it shows. Um, I, I beta tested, um, the age of empires one definitive edition. Um, and I've played it, uh, quite a bit. And, um, like they, like just the differences between the original and the, the, the remaster, the definitive edition is it, they're great, but seeing four in action, like you can tell they've put a lot of time and effort into it. And I'm, I'm super excited about that. Among us, we're going to be playing among us on the console. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That's, that's going to happen. Yep. Yeah. That in Hades. That that in Hades. I'm really Hades. excited about that. Yeah, Hades, Hades too. Is great. Uh, but but I think coming to Xbox is really strong. And uh, Flight Sim. Flight um, Sim. That's gonna be really good. Yeah, and if anything's gonna be able to push the Series X hardware, I think Flight Sim will. Uh huh. Um, okay, let's talk about Redfall for a second. I I know we just we just looked at it and we were talking about you know zombies versus vampires, but Wow. Like Redfall looks really, really fucking good. It does. Like I'm I am very excited about it. With my inability to deal with horror, it's gonna be one of those games I'm gonna be disappointed that I can't play. Which yeah. is a compliment to it. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah. I, it looks really good. I just know that there's there's no way. Nope. No. Graphics are getting too good for me to get away with <laughs> playing games anymore. Like I could get away with Left 4 Dead too because everything's blurs. Right. But that yep. is slowly getting less and less doable, and more and more, I am going to have a heart attack or not sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. It's it's who it 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 and I'm not I'm not one for horror stuff either, but just the like when a lot of times in games we'll see different how do i put this like games are sometimes focused on technology or time period or maybe something like magic is a is a focus but this seems to mix up all of that in a really cohesive way like we've got robots we've got you know freeze mm-hmm. rays we've got you know telekinesis what well, like it's and it's all working together in tandem just beautifully. The physics look amazing. The, the faces look great. Like do. I'm just, the whole thing just looks outstanding. And I'm really looking forward to that one. Yeah. I like survival horror games a lot. Anyway, I'm, I'm lucky I'm, that they don't bother me and, and I like them. And I think you're right. Like it feels like it's taking a lot of elements together 
the physics look really good. The faces are good. The hair is good. Like I, I'm, I'm into this. Um, I think that this, that was a, that was a really good thing to show off. And I think that was also a really good thing for them to make like as a console exclusive, like that seems like, you know, cause you don't spend whatever they spent $7 billion, you know, or, or whatever it was on, on uh, Bethesda, Zini Max. Like you don't spend that money if you're not going to try to milk it for, you know, some exclusivity stuff, right? Like yep. a lot of people were upset by it and were like, oh, is this going to mean every game's going to be an exclusive? And it's like, look, probably not because that doesn't make sense necessarily either. But you don't spend that kind of money if you're going to, you're certainly not going to give exclusives um, to your competitors unless you're contractually obligated to. Um, until you know that 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 runs out or whatever, you're certainly not going to do that. But um, you don't you don't buy these companies if, if you're not going to do something with it. And that was a strong ending, I think. Like that, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that in um, events and and you know to come. Um, since it they claim it's only you know it's going to be 2022, so yeah. presumably we only have you know a year, year and a half to go on it, which um, is exciting. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of horror survival, um, we've got a new, basically a, a new Left for Dead. We have Back for Blood, um, which that looks pretty interesting too. I like it. It looks like a really good natural evolution of that series. Uh huh. Um, I'm uh, again, you know, it's it's zombies, but I'm I'm really looking forward to the uh, the PvP modes, um, and mm-hmm. it gave me kind of vibes of the Horde mode from Halo. You know where you can come in and you can actually play as the zombies and try to to kill the humans, which I'm, I I I just think that's that's just fun. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing a lot of co op, which is making me happy. Like that yep. is something I'm actually surprised to see as much as I am from Xbox. So I'm actually kind of I'm intrigued of that. I that may end up meaning that I have to subscribe to Game Pass too, depending on how things go and if everything's on PC. But yep, for I'm sure. actually right. pretty excited about that because we have one Xbox, we have the Series S, and mm-hmm. so we've, we've only subscribed to Game Pass with one of us because right now that's fine. Yeah. Everyone can play the Game Pass games on the Xbox, even on different profiles. But I'm curious to see how the co-op works. Yeah, yeah I'm curious that. about that too. I also actually wanted to ask about that. So, I mean, because this is, I think this brings up a good point. Like, so much of this, the underlying message was Game Pass, right? Like, Phil even said, like, at the end that, you know, of the, the 30 games now, like, 27 or whatever are coming to um, uh, Game Pass or, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I might have got the numbers wrong, but, like, but it, was, it was the vast majority. Like, only, only a handful are not coming to Game Pass, um, which kind of makes like how how do people feel about that? Like I'm okay with that because I'm a I, I pay for Game Pass and like it, like it's a good deal for me. But how do people feel about that? Because that does change things a little bit, right? It kind of makes it more of a like obviously you could buy these games without it, but so with with you know so much of it being about like and this is also on Game Pass. Like how how do you feel about that approach and and how much that is now kind of part of the value prop for Xbox, but also some of these. Um, even PC titles, I guess, going forward. So uh, I'm, uh, I love it personally. And again, me being a, a Microsoft shill aside, the fact that I can go through and I, especially, you know, when I, when I started off streaming about seven months ago, you know, I rotated uh, games in and out cause I do variety stuff. So being able to rotate stuff in and not having to, to pay for it, you know, outside of the, the monthly subscription, like I'm, I love that. I'm I'm a huge fan of that. Um, it gives me the chance to kind of sample these things without having to have the like throw down, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks to dedicate to it and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to try this game. And instead of having to, 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 to pay for the full game outright, it's basically like it's it's a whole bunch of fully functional free trials, really, is what it feels like. So... You know, there's still going to be games that I'm going to pay for, uh, regardless. Like Age of Empires Four, I'm going to buy it. It'll be on Game Pass anyway, but I'm going to buy it because it's an Age of Empires game, and you're goddamn right, I'm going to buy it. Uh, Halo mm-hmm. Infinite, same thing. I will buy Halo Infinite, even though I'll be able to play it on Game Pass, because those are games that I know that I'll be able to get into. But to have the option to go through so many of these games and basically give them a shot and say, you know. 
I can pay 60 bucks now or I can pay the 15 bucks to be able to try them out and see if I like them. And then, of course, I get the discount on the full game. I get the discount on the DLC because what is it? 20 percent off of the game and 10 percent off of DLC yeah. when you have Game Pass. Like, I believe so. I mean, if you're playing enough games and you're paying for enough games to own them, that I mean, it, it ends up paying for itself. So really, you're you're getting there's so much value that you're getting out of it. Plus, if you're paying for Ultimate, paying for the 15 a month, you're getting xCloud on top of that. So if you like, if you're into gaming and you have a you know a controller, a Bluetooth controller that you've got paired to your phone and you're playing on the go, like you get all of that stuff with it there too. It's like it's like the the value to me is just stupid high. So I come from kind of the opposite end of the spectrum of uh, Sir, Sir Shill over here. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't had an Xbox until the Series S in years. It's the right. only console we regularly skipped. Um, yeah. It, I, I, I'm not like anti-Microsoft, but it's just they've never been on my radar for long. No, I, totally. And I'm, I'm not... I wasn't sold, and I'm still not fully sold on the Game Pass mechanic. The it, it's another subscription. I am mm -hmm. wary of everything going to subscription. But all that is said, Game Pass has still kind of convinced me. It is just so much value. I, I, the fact that we can all play on our own profiles on the Series S and not have any problems. We didn't have to pay for, because we have three people in this household, we didn't have to pay for three game passes off the bat. Now, if I have to pay for one down the road to play on PC while someone plays on the Xbox or both of us play on PC, yeah, that that's normal for us. We, we that, that, That's how things go with me and my husband, right. usually. But the fact that I didn't have to off the bat, the fact that even right now he's gifted me games using the discount, um, so, like, we kind of, not abused it, but gotten bonus out of that. Cause like he'll have it on game pass. And like, that's how I got dungeons is he gifted it me, gifted it to me through the, with the discount so that we still got the 20% off. And I, I haven't paid for game pass cause I haven't had a need for it yet. Right. So all my skepticism and it's still ending up being worth it as much as I want to say, I'm not in love with everything going to the subscription thing. This one's working out. Yeah. I, that's why I asked. Cause I know <laughs> Because cause I kind of feel like Zach, but I know there are a lot of people who feel like you do. And that's why I was curious because, you know, I'm, I'm genuinely want to know, like, what people think. Because I could see people in your position. Like, if you if you are mostly, like, a, a, a console gamer who you play on, like, Switch or, or, you know, PS5, like, this is, you know, yet another thing, like you said, to have to subscribe to. But I, at least right now and what they've been doing, like, the value is really strong. The value is really strong. And the option for me to pick up a game, play it for two hours and never touch it again because I, it turns out I didn't like it or whatever and not feel like I wasted $60. I'm looking at Fallout 4 and several other mm -hmm. games in my Steam library is really freaking high. Like, that's huge for me. The fact that I can go screw around when it comes out to Xbox on Hades, play it for probably two or three hours, get really freaking frustrated, go, this is not for me again. Mm -hmm. And never play it again, but still not have to pay for that experience is is more value than I thought it would be by a long shot, quite honestly. For me, this is like a digital digital version of uh, when I used to be a GameStop employee because you yeah. used, we used to be able to check games out as yep. employees. We used to be able to check them out and play them before, like, we, then we just sell them as used later. And yep. um it's kind of like the best of both worlds in that regard. Like another analogy for people that haven't ever gotten to experience that it's like having a blockbuster and a GameStop in all in one. In that regard, you can try the games out for $15 a month, however much you want to, whatever in that regard. And then if you want to buy it, you have this place right there that you could just buy it outright. It's all digital. So there's, you have the uh, discussion about whether or not you want to do, digital versus physical but that's a mm -hmm. whole entire different conversation but to me as long as we have the option to say okay no matter what you do with this piece of software like we bought like when we got uh game pass the first things we did is we bought banjo kazooie the both banjo yep. kazooie banjo Tooie, and we bought plan versus zombies we just bought them outright because we want to make sure that if those get rotated out for whatever reason we still have them yes that's yeah, one of I 
that, Sorry, that's on. one of my things is I mainly want to I want to make sure that they well announce their they're rotating out like if I log in tomorrow and something's disappeared and there was no warning that's going to be where that's going to be one of my like that's one of the things I'm kind of keeping an eye out because we only had it a, a few months at this point so like I have no idea on their track record on that like I'm not upset or unupset like I'm that's one of the things I'm watching for is how often do they rotate out how much how much warning do they give if they give me a decent amount of warning so I don't feel like I'm like I log in one week and now I'm scrambling to buy games that I didn't think I was going to have to buy, then, then we're right. probably pretty good. And they and they do that. They actually have a whole section when you're looking under Game Pass. There is a section for leaving soon. Yeah. So it does tell you, even on, just on the Xbox, yep. when something is going to leave soon. Um, so uh, I wanted to, to bring up real quick, because I, I while we're thinking about the rotation aspect, um, <clears throat> so uh, Garrett Atkins, who was at Forbes, I believe, um, and he's now going off and building this, uh, what's currently called the unnamed Xbox project. Um, he's getting together a bunch of folks who are like, basically like their Xbox, you know, just super fans, uh, and content creators and putting them all together, like writers, bloggers, um, uh, vloggers, streamers, the whole, like the whole array. Um, and he and a couple of folks have actually put together this really great tool called Game Pass Counter. Uh, and Game Pass Counter actually shows you at a glance what's, like how many are there, what's on there, what's the breakdown, breakdowns by feature, by platform, whether it's console or PC, um, what's coming soon, what's about to rotate out. Um, and kind of just like looking at this here, there are 415 unique games on xbox game pass that's unique that does not count say like doom eternal because there's the console version there's the pc version that counts as one game if you count the different versions there are 941 games on game pass but just unique titles 415 you can see there are 48 coming soon. There are five that are about to rotate out, and you can see what those things are. Um, and most of them, you have links to those here. Um, and they've been actually live updating this as the announcements have been made today. Um, but just like looking at how many are here. And when this started, Microsoft dedicated to a, like roughly about 100 or so titles on Game Pass. And with, again, with the caveat that they would rotate in and out periodically. But now you can see like on console, we're, we're creeping up to 400 titles that are part of Game Pass. And only five of those are about to, to leave. We've got almost 10 times as many that are about to jump on. Um, and frankly, again, like Phil said, they have 23 studios under their umbrella now. So they have this massive library of games that are first party that they can just put up there whenever they want. It's theirs. And they, they're just there now. Um, 261 of those support cloud gaming. Like, it just... The fact that this keeps growing and growing is just absolutely wild to me. Um, and I think it proves that Microsoft is really investing the the time and the resources into game pass being a success. Um, they've had several success stories from developers, from giant publishers all the way down to indie folks who say that game pass is some of the best things that's, that's ever happened to them because people will get that chance. Elena, like you brought up, you know, you spend two or three hours with a game and if you don't like it, it's fine. All you've spent is the time playing it. But if it's something that you really enjoy, you've gotten the chance to try that no, you know, no holds barred. Everything's just out there available for you to do in the game. And if you love it, you pick it up and people are, people are doing that and it's, it's showing. And like, I just love that this is taken off so well. I'm, 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 I'm into it. I, I really am. Cause I'm looking through the, the console list and like Izzy and I have spent like just a few hours playing Peggle. I would not pay for mm -hmm. Peggle. At this point, like yeah. it, it's not worth totally, it's, 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 right because it's an old game, but it's fun as hell. Yeah, it's fun as hell, and like we'll take turns, or if someone gets stuck on a level, like the other person will take a shot on. Like, I would not pay for it because it's old as hell, and it's not 
it, I'm never going to get money's worth out of it. You know, right. it, I'll spend a few hours on it and I'm good. Like, okay, if it showed up for like a dollar maybe, but otherwise no. Yeah. But like that kind of thing. And like Zuma and Zuma's Revenge as he's been playing, like stuff like that, that I'm not, you're not going to get money out of me for it, but actually makes me feel like Game Pass has more value than possibly some of like all the new stuff because I don't play horror and I only play so many shooters. So a lot of the new stuff actually doesn't, necessarily hit my I'm gonna touch this for longer than an hour range but like some of the old stuff like having Plants vs. Zombies back like that's the first thing I touched and I just realized that Slime Rancher 1 is on here so that might it be is. something I'm doing you know yep. like Grounded's <laughs> on there so that might be one way I get into Grounded like yeah, I, I think and this would be a collaborative thing but um, something that I would love to see happen sometime in the future would be some kind of um sync between xbox game pass and uh steam yeah yeah because um and, and it's for, for a very specific thing but uh we play deep rock galactic right so we have this household has put in a grand total of over a thousand hours into that game it, it like just and it, it it's <laughs> got to be way more than that actually but we all have characters that we've like the like actually doing like in-game progression to actually like stuff that actually affects the gameplay it doesn't take that long to get to that point in the game but then it's just like all of the cosmetics and stuff that we've earned from playing in game because it's one of the games that uh, like was created in a modern sense that actually has damn near everything in the game earned as a cosmetic yeah and it's a really fun game but um one of the things we're trying to figure out is if uh Zach, if you start trying to play that on stream, we will play with you and it'll go through Game Pass. But we're actually considering like gifting it to you on Steam because our saves don't transfer over. We would right. have to start fresh yeah. and we have yeah. a bunch of stuff that we already yep. have on it. There is no consideration. It will be gifted to him if he doesn't buy it himself <laughs> because I'm not giving up my driller. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that's like, th I, that that that's... is something I would like to see. I would love. I would. I would consider playing it with him, on, on or you know if he could play it on Xbox and I could keep my driller. Like, I just I'm. They have tiers, and I'm in the last tier of mm -hmm. stars. Like you basically get like stars like you would in the military, and I'm in the last tier of stars. But, no, you're not tearing me away from that character. Like, and and I wouldn't want to, happening. you know, and, and that's, I know. <laughs> that's, that's something that even it's one of those things that Microsoft is really both really great at and really terrible at internally. Um, perfect <laughs> example is Minecraft. Okay. So Minecraft, the bedrock edition of Minecraft, you can play it on PC. You can play it on Mac. You can play it on the Xbox from the, the one up. You can play it on the PS4 and PS5. You can play it on the Switch. Okay? You can play it on Android. You can play it on iOS. Minecraft Bedrock is everywhere. And when I sign in to Minecraft on my phone, on my Android phone, I can immediately connect to the realm that we have that I usually play on either my Series X or on my PC, depending on whether or not I want to show off ray tracing. And when I right. sign in with my Xbox Live account, it is all there. The way that they have done cross-play and cross-saves with, with Minecraft, phenomenal. Then there's Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> Minecraft Dungeons just got support, and now the, the most recent update is bugged, so it doesn't even work right, where you can transfer your character back and forth between the console and the PC version, but it's a manual process. You have to remember to do it when you're done with the game. Otherwise, your progress doesn't carry back and forth, and it's broken right now anyway. So uh, Microsoft has the tools and the infrastructure in place for developers to do this. Xbox Live is cross-platform now. Anybody can take advantage of it. And let's be real, Microsoft does it better than everybody else, and if anybody is just awful at it nintendo is no one no one oh, yeah. bungles online play like nintendo 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 fails at online and we love them so much that we ignore it but yeah, yeah. like no, yeah I, i'm a nintendo fangirl through yeah. me too and me too and watching izzy play smash is just torture yeah because animal crossing like last year oh, we were all oh playing animal crossing is the most painful thing Dodo. yeah oh. i mean 
yeah, I mean, and I, I'm like a, I'm, I'm a much bigger Nintendo fangirl than I am like Xbox fangirl, and uh, like the Nintendo is was my first love. It will be, always be like that thing for me. But yeah, they fail it online. Like they, they, it's it's embarrassing at this point, and it's a testament to how much we love them that we like are willing to overlook it. Because I, I I honestly think that if it were any other company, like if Sony or Microsoft were that bad, I would be like, I'm not even bothering with you. But it's their first yeah. parties. It's honestly their first parties carry it them that's it. through that's it. their their horrendous hard I, I don't know if it's hardware, software, whatever you want to call it online. It their their first parties carry them through their horrendous online choices. And once in a while they get it right and like they make a step forward, but it's a step forward that should have happened like seven or eight years ago, but it's on my favorite first party, so I get excited and I hate it and I love it and it's it's torture. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's one of those yeah. things. Nintendo is one of those things that it's just like, at least for me, uh, all the games that I own for it, it it's got to be a good single player, like individual yeah. thing. Like, it, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if at any point in time Bioware releases the Mass Effect trilogy on the Switch, you're just never going to hear from me again. I'm going to lock myself in the in my room and you're just totally. never going to hear from me again. Like, it's uh, game over for me on that. Like, yeah. I. I yep. Being able to pick up that series and take it anywhere with me, mm-hmm. I'm just, it, 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 I'm golden. But no, like, I'm with you. I'm with you. Any kind of yeah. online play with it, anything that even involves no. needing to be online, I don't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Not even close. Like, they do good with their DLC. They they do good with their single-player games. They do good with offline co-op and offline multiplayer in general. Anything mm-hmm. that even has to even consider talking to anything online to be functional nope not even close (laughs) yeah no absolutely not and uh, again now that like microsoft has put this stuff out there and you know first party titles on other consoles they're not going to do it because they have their own infrastructure as bad as it may be and they're always going to 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 default to those to whatever their their own in-house platform is but there's so many of these games now and again it's like just even the 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 differences in between studios under the Xbox umbrella, you know, mm-hmm. some of them get it right, some of them don't, and I'm just I'm I really really hope that as time goes on, like and it things are looking promising, like everything today, even if it's something that I wasn't into, it looked really good and promising. Like, there was nothing today that I saw that I was just like, nope, this is terrible. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Which, yeah, no, I agree. Which I agree. is ridiculous. Which sometimes we have. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. But I'm just... Something I... Go ahead. Nope, go ahead. You weren't done with your thought. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, that's that's... We've had some years where we had more things that we hated than what we liked. Like, that's happened. Mm-hmm. And this year we've had, I, I, again, there was nothing that I saw today that wasn't at least good looking. Mm-hmm. Something I think would be absolutely great, like talking about Nintendo still, like what we, what, what they should do is they should uh, pull something out of Sony's book. Cause uh, I don't know how many people know this, but a lot of uh, Sony's infrastructure runs on Azure. It sure, sure does. does. <laughs> yep. Sure does. And, and with, uh, I agree. Uh, and yep. And the headquarters of Nintendo of America's headquarters literally are it's so like rounded. right next door to Microsoft. Like, like, they, like I actually, like I one time accidentally went to the wrong building with Microsoft building and I wound up on Nintendo's campus. Like that's how close they are. Like looking uh, at it on a map, be... it's like the Microsoft campus is all this around here, and then Nintendo of America is right here in the middle, like in this little alcove with Microsoft surrounding it. It's it's crazy. I, I I just think it would be great if they did something like get get Microsoft's help in fixing their online because they can't do it themselves, and then mm-hmm. being like, here have have X Cloud on the Switch. Yep. Yeah. Have fun with that. Yep. I mean, I mean, honestly, that, honestly, X Cloud on the Switch would it, it, I, it'll never happen, but that would be killer. Oh, yeah, it'll, never that, I, it'll never happen, but it'd be killer for everybody, right? Like it would be one of those things. It's like, okay, now you have this ultimate portable platform. Um, Zach, what was the name of that uh, website you said that had the, all the Xbox stuff? Because I I need to add that to my favorites. GamePassCounter.com. GamePassCounter.com. Okay. Yep, it's it's yeah, fantastic. No, that actually was good for me too because I. Sometimes I get overwhelmed looking at like 
everything on the Xbox, and Same. that was kind of nice to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 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 team that's been working on this website, uh, and again, this is a fan made website, but um, they you know, sometimes those are the best ones, to be honest. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Um, it, like they they have things like you can see what games are optimized for the Series X and S, uh, what games are boosted up to sixty or even one hundred and twenty FPS, um, what stuff is you know. Oh, Xbox One games versus series games. What 360 games are on there? There's even like the list of the four OG Xbox games that are on there, including the first Psychonauts, which we finally saw, you mm -hmm. know, gameplay footage of the sequel today. Um, mm -hmm. Like, it's just, th this is a fantastic, um, this is a fantastic resource. And it's, again, like looking sort of at the numbers just laid out here, it, like, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous to see how much of this stuff is, like coming in and staying, like it's it's fantastic. And again, it says like to me that they, it says to me that they kind of understand that yes, they can take these, they can put the stuff up and take it down whenever they want, but that they mm -hmm. know that putting things up is going to be well more received than taking things down. So they're only going to take things down sparingly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, and like the 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 pricing, I mean. If you're gaming online on the Xbox, unless it's a free-to-play, which that just changed just a few weeks ago, um, unless you're playing a free-to-play, you're paying for Xbox Live Gold. That's it. it. Like there's, That's just the way it is. And right. I know a lot of people have balked at that, and they still do. But again, for what you get out of it, for the, the reliability, the quality that you get out of the network, the feature set, you can't beat it. And then to pay an extra five bucks a month on top of that to get all of these games, like, it's just, it's mind-blowing. I sound like a goddamn commercial. You are a damn commercial. I know. It's okay, you're sometimes right. Every uh, once in a while. I mean, at this point, who... I'm, I'm approaching your your uh, ability to shill for Microsoft with me and Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed MMORPG. Oh, God. <laughs> God, here we go. I got another pen to throw at him. Okay, yeah, just just throw it at him real quick. Okay, so uh, it's 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 three o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific. Uh, I know that Square Enix mm -hmm. is they're getting ready to roll. Um, any final thoughts, Lollipop? Like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Of course, of course. Elena? Xbox Design Lab when? I know, I know. Same. Yep. <laughs> I know. It's, man, it's... Like, not to be the whiny one, but just, I really want a purple, fun, custom controller, and... Totally. I just... And that needs to happen, and I didn't know they existed, nor did I have a Series S until it was closed, so they need to reopen it so that I can give them money. I literally just want this I'm with the share button. I'm to give you money. That's all I want. I thought the share button totally. was a gimmick, and it's the best thing that they ever did to this controller. I am trying to give you money, Microsoft. Please, why won't you take it? I know. Um, Christina, what about you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess uh, Redfall, but um, yeah, yeah I, uh, that's it. But I'm, I also second, like, reopen the design lab, because I definitely want to have a, a rose gold or, like, a pink controller. Yes. I yep. definitely want that. Yep. Well, just... Pull a Linus Tech Tips and make a no. make an Xbox a controller one? out of pure gold. Yeah, God, I know. I do actually have I do actually have the T-shirt that he made like for that like the gold uh, Xbox controller T-shirt. I thought that was a cool shirt. I, I did actually he touches that, that thing without the gloves on. Now I'm like, oh, oh my I know. God, what are you doing? Stop oh. it. I know. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, this is this is you can't. It's yeah, criminal. That was, that was it's criminal. Project. Yeah, Ali yeah, Pop. I, I, yeah, like not the supply chain issues. I think once the supply chain issues finally start to mellow out. We'll see, you know, people will be able to get the their hands on a Series S, Series X, and the design lab will finally open back up. So I'm I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, I, I know I can't I can't really fault Microsoft for not opening the design lab when everyone's having supply chain issues. Why would you open it when you're gonna start telling people, oh, you'll have that in seven months? Like that, I get it, but also, <laughs> I just want a pretty controller. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I agree. I agree. Um, all right, so I think I think this is a good place to call it for now. Um, let's see. 
we'll be back. Um, the crew will be back tonight. We'll be playing Dungeons because it is Sunday Shenanigans night. So we'll see you in four and a half hours for that. Um, Christina, I cannot thank you enough for being here with us. It has been so much fun having you. And you are welcome to come back and hang out with us anytime you would like. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me. It was great meeting uh, both of you, Lollipop and Elena, and, uh, and mm. chatting with you, Zach. This was really fun. This has been so much fun. Thank you all for watching. Um, wow, this was a really good one this year. Like, I'm, I'm really excited for the next year of stuff coming out. This is going to be fantastic. Um, don't forget, if you want in on this Xbox Game Pass goodness, tell everybody you know to follow the channel i'm going to be giving away that three month subscription that 45 dollars value as soon as we hit 250 um i'm i'm really really hoping that we can do it by the end of the month even though that's ridiculous but we're going to try for it anyway because what the hell um and we will see you back here in about four and a half hours y'all take care love your faces bye